A bunch of 6th, 7th, and 8th graders converged on Walsh Middle School in Framingham today trying to prove their robots worthy. They've spent much of the last year preparing for the VEX Robotics Regional Championship. More than 40 teams from Massachusetts and Connecticut guided their machines through several challenges under the watchful eye of a referee. If we win this, we're going to be going to Worlds, which is in Texas. Nadine and Rowan are middle schoolers from Marlboro looking to advance from this regional championship to the big dance in Dallas by proving they've crafted one of the smartest, most agile, or most innovative robots a kid can make. They've come a long way. Our first competition, and we were like really nervous. But now, as competitive veterans, organizers are trying to feed their interest in robotics by exposing them to the real deal. For instance, Metro West Hospital brought by its Da Vinci, the very same intuitive surgical robot its doctors train on, and encourage the kids to grab the rein. I think it's extremely important to introduce kids uh, to any new technology we have. And, and they are already savvy. They, they are much better than we think they are at it. Dr. Pandia points out that today's youngsters are naturally curious about new technology and adapt to it easily. His seven-year-old son took a spin on the Da Vinci, but doesn't want to follow in dad's footsteps. No, I want to be a soccer player. Many of these kids, though, will go on to be the next generation of engineers and scientists, and organizers hope competitions like this provide fuel for that career path. But there is a more immediate payoff. It's really fun also. It's fun. Well, when the dust settled late this afternoon, middle schoolers from North Andover, Burlington, and Framingham had finished on top. Teams from East Heartland and Monroe, Connecticut also advanced. They'll join competitors from roughly 30 other countries in May at the World Championship in Dallas.